Hi everyone and welcome to the S&P Saga, your weekly recap of the S&P 500 index. The S&P 500 ended last week with a small rebound driven by the Fed 50 basis point drop in its target interest rate. The announcement mostly benefited tech companies. Today, the Federal Open Market Committee decided to reduce the degree of policy restraint by lowering our policy interest rate by a half percentage point. This decision reflects our growing confidence that with an appropriate recalibration of our policy stance, strength in the labor market can be maintained in a context of moderate growth and inflation moving sustainably down to 2%. We also decided to continue to reduce our securities holdings. I will have more to say about monetary policy after briefly reviewing economic developments. The full announcement is available in the video description below. We'll reveal the winners and losers that drove the index performance and which companies will announce earnings next week. As usual, don't forget to subscribe to understand how individual stocks impact the S&P 500. Let's jump right into this week's review. The S&P 500 closed the week at $5,702.55, up 1.4% from last week and adding $863 billion of market cap. The PE ratio, based on current price and the latest earnings, stands at 29 a 0.34 points since last week. Let's go to your gainers. Meta is up 92.9 billion or 7% as the company extended its partnership with Luxottica for its AR glasses. Apple up 86.7 billion or 2.6% following the rollout of the Apple intelligence service on its iPhone devices. Alphabet up 77.2 billion or 4% driven by the company's antitrust court win against the European Union. Amazon up 52.6 billion or 2.7 percent as CEO Andy Jassy mandated workers to come back to the office five days a week. Microsoft is up 34.8 billion or 1.1 percent following the announcement of a 60 billion dollar share buyback program. Moving to your losers, Nvidia is down 76 billion or 2.6 percent as the company worried investors that it cannot meet market demand for its products. United Health is down 17.8 billion or 3.3 percent on no specific news. Note that the company was targeted by the FTC regarding its insulin prices. Walmart is down 11.7 billion or 1.8% following an announcement that the company would raise the entry level wages at its Sam's Club unit. Pepsi down 8.5 billion or 3.5% as the company's CFO just left for Target. Accenture is down 8.5 billion or 3.9% on reports that the professional services firm will postpone staff promotion for six months. This could be an issue for talent retention. This week, there were no changes announced to the S&P 500 and the changes announced two weeks ago will be effective on September 23rd, 2024. Q2 2024 earnings season is now done for the 503 S&P constituents with five members releasing results last week. Three companies are now left to report. Seven S&P 500 members will release earnings during the week ending September 27th, 2024 and the most interesting will be Costco and Accenture on September 26th. Which company do you think will top the list next week and why? Let us know in the comments below and subscribe to our weekly updates. To find out why Nvidia and Microsoft were up last week, you should watch this video next.